Five months after the murder of 42-year-old Julie Stewart, it shocked a Sandalwood neighborhood. Now News for Jax has obtained new evidence in her death. Court documents show her husband, Gerard Stewart, called family members and confessed. Police say that they found Julie Stewart's body in the trunk of a car, then took Gerard Stewart into custody following a standoff with police. Tonight, News for Jax reporter Allison Henning is digging through the discovery material in the moments leading up to Stewart's arrest. Several surveillance cameras captured 45-year-old Gerard Stewart on June 15th making stops at Academy Sports, Best Buy, and Walgreens, where he bought a backpack and other items for his son and filled his son's prescription. Those were all found in his SUV, possibly indicating a plan to take off with the boy. But later that same day, Stewart called relatives to say he'd killed his wife, then took pills and barricaded himself inside his sandalwood home. Police eventually arrested him without incident and found his wife's body wrapped in bedding and plastic in the car trunk. They say 42-year-old Julie Stewart suffered from multiple gunshot wounds, a cut on her throat, and a stab wound to her chest. One of those family members then had police alerted. I have a camp employee that just received a phone call from her brother in Jacksonville stating he killed his wife this morning. Mm -hmm. And he is um, looking for some place to take his son. Investigators took hundreds of photos inside the couple's home, some showing weapons and ammunition. The couple was going through an increasingly bitter divorce, the main issue, the custody of their 10-year-old son, something those close to the couple were well aware of. Were you aware of any problems between him and Julie? They're going through a divorce. Okay. There's not been any domestic issues that I know of or any, been any violence. Stewart told police his wife told him she had been having an affair for the last five years and his mother-in-law told him it would take a miracle of God to save the marriage. Meanwhile, he was battling depression and on the verge of losing his job. Now they sent me home um, a week ago saying we need to go home and handle what's at home and don't come back until you get it handled. Stewart was in court Monday where a tentative trial date was set for April next year. Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station. You heard Allison mention a 10-year-old son that the Stewarts had. He was not home at the time of the murder.